Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the channel. Now, I know this has been an awful long time since I've actually posted anything. And obviously, this is not Pocket Legends. For those of you that do not know, this is old school RuneScape. Now, just coming out of uh, a very busy summer for work and life in general for me. So, I've got a lot of time to play video games again now. And depending on what events and etc. are running on Pocket Legends, I will still upload those videos. But this is a new challenge for me. I've never played Ultimate Iron Man on RuneScape and it is something that I feel like I've got enough time now to actually put a little bit of e put a little bit of effort in and have a crack at it. I'm not 100% sure which which way I'm going to go first. I'm not really going to I don't really want to do the Winter Todd method. A lot of people generally do that and that's not really my sort of cup of tea. So I think I'm going to do a little bit of thieving, try and get a little bit of cash, and I'm just going to have a quick look online and see what some general low-level money-making methods are. I think I'm kind of going to be leaning towards getting 30 fishing, getting myself to Temporos, and getting myself loads of supplies, ideally for construction, because from what I hear, construction is probably the biggest thing for Ultimate Iron Man, mainly for teleports, storage... All that other sort of stuff. I'm obviously going to show you all of that as I progress through the game. But for now, I'm going to go and do a few little bits and bobs. Actually figure out a plan and hopefully come back to you when I've got a rough idea of where I'm going. Alright guys, so after just doing a quick little read up of a few little things on the internet. It kind of looks like just going and get the 10k from the Stronghold of Security is probably actually going to be my best play. Uh, just got 5 thieving gonna make my way to Varok now I'm gonna go and grab myself a load of tea and hopefully that will be enough to actually get me through there to get myself 5 to 10k depending if I can make it oh hello Leo I've got a problem with some graves okay I will absolutely help you with your graves so we're gonna do this and I will be back once I've got some tea and potentially whatever this reward is Fingers crossed, that is correct there. Finished, what did we get? Hopefully something decent to start with. I can't, I can't really picture anything good that will actually come from this guy, but we'll see. Come on, any time today. What did we get? Zombie boots and zombie shirt. I mean, I'm going to keep it on me for now, but probably going to say it's not an item that's going to be one of my 28 that sits in my inventory. All right, I'll be back once I've got some teas and we're ready to adventure into the stronghold. Alrighty, stronghold done. Time to go get some fishing supplies. Alrighty, guys, so as you can see, bait and feathers bought. We're just going to chill around here. We're going to do some fishing and we're going to do some cooking and we're probably going to head all the way until... Probably 25, I think. Probably 25 fishing. That way, just to make trouts a little bit quicker. I think they may be a tad slow at 20 fishing. But that's going to be the plan. So, yeah, bring it back once we hit 25. 27 fishing already. Actually, we just got 28 last invent of trouts. So, we're going to be camping here till probably 35 fishing. And whatever cooking that gets us. And we will go from there. So, I'll probably see you guys back when I start Temple Rust. Alrighty guys, so we have already hit 35, but I've just been at work AFKing it, so I'm probably just going to finish off 36, and then we will head straight to Temporos. Um, I kind of feel like this is the way I am going to take this account for, well, mainly just for the beginning. Lots of other things I want to do, but it's really going to take a little bit of time trying to plan this whole thing out. So, yeah, bring it back to you once we actually get to the next stage. Okay, so... We are back, we are at Temporos, and I got a little bit carried away at work. I actually wasn't able to record anything because I was kept at work for a little extra, but just ended up playing this for like an hour or so, and a little bit when I got home, so I can finally record now. We have hit 47, and I think I've got about 60. I literally just started this, and realised I had a bank pin, so decided to go for it now. Thought I'd show you guys all of the rewards. I think there's about... I'm not entirely sure what it was, actually. I think I had 60, maybe. Oh, yeah, 60 more rewards. So, uh, this might actually need to be broken up a little bit. Kind of. What What the hell's a fish barrel? Why do I feel like that's actually something important? Actually, semi. Is that the thing that stores like double fish? <gasps> that could be really, really good. 
kind of got a feeling at the minute though i may have to drop a few things oh look at that that is exactly what i wanted planks planks and planks this could be mega for me going and getting construction up early as which is what we're pretty much going to do okay i'm going to actually stop this here and i'm going to cook these fish that are in my invent otherwise they're just going to keep building up so brb okay i think we'll call that 10 let's see what we got Okay, decent. I think I can actually probably go and sell those. So I'm going to go and cook these again. I'm actually getting another three levels and about to hit 43 now. So BRB again. Right, final bits of bass, base bass, whatever you want to call them. That should be 45 cooking. Jobs are good in. So let me just quickly do This is honestly, I was not expecting it to take this long whatsoever. Just back and forth thing. I really don't know what I've signed myself up for here, but I am actually semi enjoying it. Uh, just a little bit of an early grind. I decided to actually keep the seaweed. I can't actually remember what's needed to make uh, molten glass, but I kind of feel like I, it could be a good way to get some low level crafting. Uh, I'm just going to keep hold of it for now, but I will play that one by ear. Now, realistically, could actually do with maybe a few more planks. Wouldn't be the end of the world. How many have we got? 10 more lose. I might as well actually just keep going and see what we can actually get. Oh, more planks. Lovely. Absolutely lovely. I'm not entirely sure what I'm going to do with the old uh, spirit flakes as well. Can't quite see them being very beneficial for me right now, but yeah. What do we get? 12 of those. 26 uncut red topaz. Are they even worth anything? Okay. I mean, they're worth that much there. I'm going to keep hold of those. My sort of slow plan is I spent the remainder of my money earlier on 17 magic. would like to actually get 21 so that I can alk these sort of things. So they're more bracelets, etc. Uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to finish cooking all of these. And then I think we're going to head to our house via a general store so I can sell some stuff, get some cash. And I think we're going to head to our house and try and nick some early construction levels, clear up a few spaces, and go from there. So I'll bring this back when I reach my house. We made it back to Rimmington after an absolute trek. Had to go to Varrock to go and pick up a saw from the estate agent, which was a pain in the ass, but this is what it is. And yeah, this is looking like it's going to get me a decent amount of construction XP. I just very much forgot how click intensive this was going to be on mobile i'm sure there's probably a way i can do it so it's like single tap but i'm not really too fast it's only going to take me 10 minutes or so to do this level four already actually let's build one more chair not oh, bloody rug unbelievable oh this is going to wind me up big time but we will switch to the bookcases because i believe they're four planks at a time which will make this a little bit quicker uh, I think whilst I'm here, I'm actually going to go and do Witch's Potion after this because I'm pretty sure I can get all the supplies whilst I'm here. That's a little bit of extra. It's either Magic or HP XP. Not 100% sure, but yeah. I will see you guys once I've finished all these planks. So, I know this doesn't really actually seem like a lot, but I'm pretty sure that is, should be 14 construction. Now, as it is, it doesn't actually look like it's going to make much of a difference. But what it will do is mean it means that I will get an awful lot more XP whilst doing Temporos when I repair the mast and stuff. When it first happened, I was only getting 4 XP at level 1. That's why I was so keen for some early construction XP. Same as Winter Todd. If you go there with like 10 construction, you get like 40 per 40 XP each time. It's kind of based on your level. So, yeah, it's going to be really, really beneficial. Um, we're just going to actually whack out whatever this one is, which is Potion and yeah see where we go from there a couple of minutes just running around this should be which is potion done i can't actually remember which one this is in fact i have everything let's go it's gonna be first quest of the ultimate iron man account all right what did we get i think it's magic xp which probably isn't gonna make too much difference for me right now i think about yeah drink from this 325 yeah nothing major but it's actually a little bit of a bonus so what i'm going to do as you can see i've bought some fire spells on my way around because i don't really need too much cash I'm just going to have a little meander and i'm going to head back to temporos because that is where i'm going to sit for another few hours i think that's going to be the end of episode one actually i'm going to call it quits here i've got quite a few things planned 
and next time I return probably going to be a few more mage levels I think we're going to carry on doing some fishing and construction really really need to get construction up as quick as possible because that is going to be teleports it's going to be absolutely key for me I'm going to look into it a little bit more as to what I actually need and what levels I need uh, but apart from that yeah a few other little bits and bobs Could probably look at start making some cash hopefully if i can get to level 21 magic i can low out some items hopefully some decent items from temporos i know you can get rune items from there i think so yeah fingers crossed that's going to be the way we go but that is it from me for tonight it's been a good couple of days playing on this i'm not sure when i'll actually upload this video i'll probably have another day of getting ahead of myself getting another video in preparation but yeah that is going to be it for now so thank you for watching i'll see you next time